Hello and welcome to the Building an Indie Business Podcast with Supreme Rum Ham. I'm your host, Alex. Today, we will be discussing the 1% rule, uh, my framework for learning and getting things done. I will be discussing um, what exactly it is, how you can do it, and how I built the habit. First, I wanted to discuss some general things about the podcast. Um, as always, there's the Patreon page that will ho- uh, that will that you guys can donate to if you find this podcast valuable, and that will support the editing of the podcast and the hosting of the podcast. Another thing I wanted to mention was the fact that uh, I have entered the podcast in the Product Hunt Makers Festival. And the day this episode is being released, I uh, the voting will start for the festival. So I will be putting a link to the festival page and my page for the festival um, in the show notes. I also want to discuss the fact that uh, I listen to the podcast too, and I know you can hear me breathing. And so I'm working to, uh, to make that happen less. I... I know I just need to slow down and catch my breath, so I'm going to be taking a lot more pauses. Okay, um, so the 1% rule, how I learn and get things done. So the 1% rule is you break up um, tasks into um, percentages. Um, for example, I'm reading Evil by Design by Chris Nodder, and the book is 300 pages. So I read three pages a day. And the point is to get in the habit of doing something. Um, if I read three pages a day, I'm happy with that because I read more than I had yesterday. You know what I mean? So. This is used for things like tutorials, books, and other lessons, things that you can quantify. Um, But what if you can't quantify it? So for things you can't quantify, I just do one thing a day. Um, An example would be um, the login page that I've been working on. So one day I did the organizing, one day I did the styling, and um, I'm going to do the functionality soon. That's just one thing. And it's just to get me in the habit of doing things. Um, today is Friday. All I have on my list is the podcast. I don't have any other things. So if I, if I record the podcast and upload it and get it ready for releasing, I'm 100% fine with that if that's all I do. If that's all I do. It's to uh, get in the habit. Like I said, it's not the size of the test. It's that you're you're better. Up, you've done more than you did yesterday. You're you're one step ahead. And so, how I built this habit, um, I always have an idea of what I want to do before I do it. So. I, I sit down and I know I want to do the styling today. I want to do the podcast today. And that way, I don't have to sit down and figure it out before I start doing it. You know what I mean? And also, I have a system. I uh, It's to get me in the mindset. So I come home, I eat, I shower, I mess around on Twitter a bit, mess around on Slack... And then I sit down at my desk. I uh, open up a new window so no tabs can distract me. I open up Twitch and I put on music. And the music is another aspect and so is Twitch. So an- another part of my system is that I <clears throat> I, I put on music I've heard a hundred times. So... When you hear my Twitch streams, you'll hear Nirvana, The Beatles, sometimes even Bill Burr. It's just things I have heard a hundred times so that I can focus on 
what's on my screen and not what's in my ears. And also Twitch. So I stream on Twitch because I it makes me work harder when I know someone is watching me. This is a, they've actually done studies on this and it's called the Hawthorne effect that people work harder when they're being watched. Okay. Um, I hope you guys got some value out of this episode. Um, remember, you can always tweet and email me questions about either the podcast, the podcast directory that I'm building, or anything else. Um, okay, thank you for listening. Have a nice day. Bye.